Fitz Louise. We've had like a rejig in the spare room and all the furniture's moved to the other walls, so it looks really bare back here. There's just nothing there, so sorry if that's dead distraction. Anyway, today I thought I would do a little what I got for my birthday video because I love watching these things, like what people got for their birthday, what they got for Christmas. I love to get joy from other people's joy, you know what I mean? So, I recently turned 29 and uh, I was in London for my birthday, had a really nice trip, me and my partner, had a wonderful time, been absolutely spoiled rotten. So I thought I would show you my presents that I had bought for me for birthday and then also some bits that my partner bought me while we were in London and then also bits that I bought myself while we were in London as a little treat because it's been my birthday weekend and it's a Monday today and I'm not in work so I'm like oh this is also my birthday Monday even though my birthday was two days ago when I'm filming this but you know when you reach my haggard old age you have to take the full week if not the full month for your birthday that's that's just the rules. I don't make them, I just follow them. The first two bits, these are from my parents. I say my parents, I'm like, it was my mum and my dad had no input. He just like put some money towards it. You know how it is. Got these really fancy candles from next. I'm like, how cute is the packaging on these? They're adorable in like little ceramic jars. So I can't wait to use those. They look delicious. Thank you, mother. And you know what else is a present? Does anyone else's parents or like family or whatever do this? You'll get a gift bag, but they don't write on the tag. So that's an extra present so you can reuse it. I just reuse them with no tag as well. We've been passing the same gift bags through our family for a very long time. It's called being eco-friendly. So yeah, my mum also got me this t-shirt, which I'll do like a little try on clip of it. But whoop, tags there. So it says... Yorkshire born and bred, which, correct. There's only one person when I was in London that like picked up that I was from Yorkshire. And I'd said like, oh yeah, it's not too far. Like it's a, it's only like two hours on train. And the guy were like, two hours on train. I'm like, yes, that is how I speak. Uh, I can't help it. <laughs> yes, that, this was dead cute. I think that'll be nice. So yeah, my mum said she bought it from a shop and it's like all like, the, all the designs are like by homeless people and the funds go towards them like uh sort of like getting into work like making a better life for themselves so that's very nice very cute and they also gave me some money as well because they never know what to buy me so thank you mum and dad very much appreciate it i'm gonna buy myself some treats with that money so now i'll move on to the bits that are from my partner first of all she got me this loom to weave with because I just love my arts and crafts and I think I said once like oh I'd like to try like looming and I just never got into it I just never bought anything but she said oh yeah I looked at reviews online and people said this one was really good so that's fun I'll give that a go I've got loads of yarn from uh, when I started doing like needle punch and I've sort of just quietened down on that for a bit because I can't be bothered but that seems really fun I very much appreciate that I love arts and crafts and this this is so we, she took one present to London for me to open on my actual birthday and the rest I opened yesterday when we got home. So like for context, I saw a t-shirt on a market stall that was like someone <laughs> like flipping you off and on their, like, it wasn't even on their knuckles, they were just flipping you off and then like in blood above the flipping you off, it just said you're next, but like it was the wrong kind of you're. So it wasn't like Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, it was Y-O-U-R. And I've been looking for the same one for ages just because I thought it was really funny. But she managed to find not the same one, but from the same company. With the same spelling mistake. See his knuckle tats say, your necks. And it's like fake tie-dye. And apparently it glows in the dark and it's got horrible skeleton man on it. And it's also got horrible screaming bloody skeleton on the back. So well chuff with this. <laughs> I love, I love stuff from Wild. That stuff is truly wild. The designs are just hideous and they've always got like skeletons or like big titty angels on them. <laughs> and I love it so much. But yeah, this is fantastic. And I'm looking forward to wearing that out and about and looking like a crazy person. She also picked me up uh, 50 things of film for the Instax and she said, oh, it was a great deal. I paid for most of it with Nectar Point. So 
I love that because these are really expensive. So that's really nice. And some other little Instaxy bits. So a little selfie lens. I don't even know they made those. Some colourful lenses. Some of these little guys are just like little photo frames. They sort of stand up. Very cute. And this like pack of accessories and just stickers and like, I'm assuming they're supposed to be like stickers and like backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, very valuable. So I wanted to take my Instax when we were in London, but I couldn't fit it in the bag because we took too much stuff. But yeah, I'll be taking some nice photos on that, displaying them, making them look all fancy. But yes, I very much appreciate that because I sort of use my film quite sparingly because they're quite expensive what she said yeah go like go for it i paid for most of them with sweet sweet nectar points so a bargain so she also got me i've been saying i wanted a new tangle teaser because i've had mine for about a million years and she bought me a nice um disney frozen branded one Instead of like a nice normal one, she bought me a frozen one, but I love it anyway. <laughs> I'll get a lot of use out of it because I love my tangle teaser, but it's just funny that she would buy me this little kitty one. You know? Got some earrings. <gasps> these ones, these little cats. Do we want to focus on them? Oh, they sweet. And she's handily put them on a display card that's just an empty shortbread box, which how to you for being so thrifty these ones i don't know what the design's supposed to be they're making me like they're made out of ceramic and i just think they look like charcuterie boards to me but they've got like little axes or something printed on them they're cute i just bought those from a charity shop so a bargain oh i'm on that focus but i'll just show you the last thing this hideous film on little deville from rugrats pin and uh, my outfit today is incredibly like Betty Deville. You know the mom? You know my mom from Rugrats. I feel like I look like her today. And the last thing that was in my official birthday presents, but then there are some bits later on that she bought me that I will show you. This absolutely rad Vans t-shirt. So, very cute. But then, bam, skeleton Bart Simpson. It's one of the kiddies ones from their like last Simpsons collab. And uh, it's an XL because I, I'm i an XL child. I'm just an extra large child when you think about it. Yeah, that's so cool. I really love it. So I'm gonna try that on as well. I'll do a little try and clip of me feeling my oats, obviously, as I always do. And then I've got the rest of the pile of stuff that's on the floor to tangle with. So this is gonna be probably a really long video. Sorry guys. So I think I'll do a second part of this video that's just talking about the things that I actually did in detail because we squeezed a lot in on the trip. We did an absolute boatload of stuff and it was really fun. But this is just going to be showing all the stuff that was bought for me and that I bought for myself under the guise of birthday treats. So then I'll be going into more detail about the places where we went and the things that we did. But I'll just be like, I went to this place and I bought this thing, but then I'll talk more about the thing, you know? So the first stop when we got there, well, the first stop was the Airbnb and then we uh, went to go get some chicken and went to the Natural History Museum, which was fantastic. Yeah, we stayed in a really nice Airbnb in Earl's Court. It was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. The hosts were lovely. Yes, yeah, so we went to the Natural History Museum and I bought a big tote bag and it's full of stuff that I'll be showing you in a bit. But yeah, lovely. I love a reasonably sized tote bag and it's made out of like plastic bottles or something so very secure and um, obviously I went to go see the dinosaurs and you know the best bit of any natural history museum not only the natural history museum but like any place that has a natural history collection is the birds the birds are the best the birds are just the birds are just like dinosaurs that are still alive today I love birds birds are the best and <laughs> there is a picture of me that my partner took whenever I go anywhere and they have like a preserved shoe bill you know the like really big crazy looking birds I have to take a photo because I have a shoe bill tattoo so I'm always like showing off my guns and my shoe bill tattoo so there is one if you would like to see all of the <laughs> pictures that I kept making her take of me and all the weird captions I was putting on them please follow me on Instagram I was having a wonderful time and I was like, mm, you have to take a picture of me at this place and I can put this as the caption because obviously I'm a crazy person. But anyway, so I went to the Natch. The Natch, I always call it the Natch. 
uh, <laughs> bought myself a tote bag. I bought myself this little guy. And every time I go to the Natural History Museum, there is a like a triceratops by the exit from the dinosaur bit. And the first time I went, I had a photo with it and I was like, and then the second time I went and I was like, I'm so excited. And then this time I went and I'm like, so excited. So I just love that triceratops. So I have to get a photo with him every single time. And I just have the same like crazy look in my eye where I'm like, mm, I love dinosaurs. But yes, he's gorgeous. I love him so much. I bought a like Diplodocus one when we went last time and he has a little like natural history museum t-shirt on and he's so cute but this guy's so cute and cuddly and I love him and he was worth the six pounds I paid for him he's really sweet I love him but we've agreed that one time when we go we're gonna get one of like the big 50 pound ones <laughs> I was like I really want to buy the giant squid one but I don't want to haul it home so one day that's a pipe dream I want to get Archie the giant squid the plush toy but this guy's so cute. I love him. He's my little buddy. I love a uh, cuddly toy because I'm a little baby, but I like him. He's really sweet. And Trickle, a cat, really hates him. She just hates cuddly toys and she's just staring at me now, fear in her eyes. Hey, people. So my next stop after the Natural History Museum was the V&A because it's right next door. And that museum is so overwhelming. I feel like I didn't take half of it in because I was just absolutely knackered and it was just, there was too much to look at and it was a lot, but you know, I did really enjoy and it was the gift shop. Best gift shop I've ever been in. You know, one of the best shops I've ever been in. It was so good. It was fantastic. So, picked up this tote bag. Ooh, the design's so gorgeous and it was like three quid. Very nice. And it's got some stuff in it that I'll be showing you in a bit. <laughs> this video's going to be so long. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, did you know that the jewellery there is on another level? Because I didn't. Case in point. Oh, these? These be beaded lemon earrings? They're the happiest earrings I've ever seen. And I'm a woman that loves earrings. They're amazing. So I picked up a couple pairs of earrings. And saw these and I was like, oh, they're cute. And then did a lap and I had to go pick them up to buy them because I thought I'll regret it for the rest of my life if I don't buy these. They're absolutely amazing. They're so happy. I love them so much. And I bought another two pairs of earrings because I am a relentless. I got these as well. These hoops, these beaded hoops. Stunning. And these other V and A ones. These oops, wrong word. They don't really matter. These are little Mary Quant style flowers, and they're lovely. They had the best earrings. I also bought a little badge as well. Mm -hmm. Just a little V and A badge. Gorgeous. Was anyone going to tell me that that museum gift shop is the best gift shop in the world? I just want big, ostentatious pairs of earrings, and that's what I bought. These are just amazing. These are some of my best earrings and I'm an earring connoisseur. They're wonderful, they're magical, they're fantastical. So I think that's all my purchases for day one covered. Day two, we got up and went to Tower Bridge and went on the like viewing platform thing where it's got like a glass bottom and that was really fun. I'll talk more about it in my other video. <laughs> so uh, my partner actually bought me these as a treat. Thanks babe. Uh, another tote bag because I love tote bags. Tower Bridge tote bag. Gorgeous. I also got a Tower Bridge iron on patch. I'm like, oh, I might stick it on my uh, jacket that I was wearing just because I thought that's cute. And then some pin badges. Tower Bridge pin badge. Woo! And another Tower Bridge pin badge. Woo! I love like a badge or a patch. Back in the bag you go. And then, what did we do? Oh yeah, we went for a nice little coffee. And then we went to the Grant Museum, which is probably now my favorite place in London. I've never been before. It is amazing. But they just had like a little, not so much a gift shop. It was just like some postcards and a poster. I bought, <laughs> this is hilarious. So one of their like most famous items is just, a like jar full of pickled moles and they sell a postcard with a jar full of pickled moles on it and I'm like 
I said to them, you need to just get more Jar of Moles merch because I would go crazy for that. Just like a t-shirt with Jar of Moles on it. Amazing. And we also got, let me artfully unravel this. I should have done this beforehand. I'm so unprofessional. So it's just like a poster. With them, they have a bit with lots of like medical, not medical, anatomical, zoological slides with like little microorganisms on. And there's like a little room with all the uh, old slides on it. And that was really fun. And then they sell this as like a poster or wrapping paper. So I think we're just going to get a frame and put that up. Well, that'll cost a quid and that is a bargain. Ooh. I'll put that back together. Lovely. So I think that's that for Dick Wet. We also went to Hemar because Hemar is closing down in the UK. If you've not been to Hemar, it's amazing. But we went um, on like day two, but then we also went yesterday when we were on the way home because we saw a different Hemar and they had different stock. So I'm just going to do all that together because I can't remember what I bought on what day and I will never know. I'll never be able to split it out because I've just bought a load of stuff. So. I forgot two very crucial stops we made on the second day. I went to a uh, crap souvenir shop and got myself this <laughs> London t-shirt. Ooh, ah, because I wanted to buy like the £9.99-est souvenir t-shirt. That's wonderful. That was the least hideous one that they had. And we also went, because we were nearby, to uh the big lush on oxford street and it was amazing i will talk about that more when i do my the actual things that i did in london video but it was crazy i loved it so much but yeah because i wanted to see if they had like any exclusive products and they had a couple and my partner said because it's a special day it's nearly our birthday i'll get you some treats and then i bought myself some treats as well so i got myself a lush t-shirt so I can look like I work in Lush because I might as well because I'm in there all the time. But it smells so delicious. And I really like it. It's really cute. Um, and I bought myself a Plum Rain body spray. It's not an exclusive, but I don't think they have it in our shop. So I've never smelled it. And it smells divine. I'm going to put it with my other body sprays. And it's nice to have this because it's like, oh, I can use this and think about when I was in London. You know? Love that. And my partner got me a bubble bar and a bath bomb and some patches. So I can't remember what this bubble bar is called. I keep getting distracted because the ducks are outside my window fighting. So eh. I don't know what this is like, what this guy, it looks like a conch shell or something. But it smells divine. I don't think that was an exclusive. But, um, this one is Marshmallow World, which I think they sold uh at one point like in all the shops but now it's just a oxford street exclusive and it smells amazing and i can't wait to have a nice bath with the treats that my my love bought for me and we also picked up some patches as well the classic fighting animal testing and then there was some uh oops some nice patches designed by i can't remember who they were sorry <laughs> so i'll see if i can link if they're on the lush website but i was like some designer and they'd done uh, like a t-shirt as well it was really nice and a tote bag i thought these are really cute so i'm gonna stick them on a jacket or something but yeah i think they're only about three pounds each as well which i thought is really reasonable yes very cute that was what i got from lush courtesy of me and also my love thanks my love some more clothing bits we went to Rocket Vintage, iconic vintage shop, because I wanted to have a nose at, and they also had really good tote bags. <laughs> uh, and I'm really into like collots, like I love collots, but I just really struggle to find them apart from in vintage shops because I think they're quite like old fashioned to wear a collot. Then I got these and they're really nice. They've got like more fabric on one side, so they really do look like a skirt. Uh, I'll show you them on. They look really nice. And they have pockets, so they're like a little floral, elasticated waist. And they're gorge, and they were five pounds, which I thought was, uh, was like, that's a really good deal for a vintage shop in central London, because this was the one in Covent Garden as well. Like, I would have thought it'd be like way more overpriced, but they're really cute. I like them a lot. And as I said, they had really nice tote bags. 
you have to excuse this is full of stuff because I took it out shopping today. It's like a nice big tote bag. Very nice, fits all my stuff in. I've uh, got a lot of stuff in there because I've been out and about today. So yeah, I'm very happy with those purchases. And then I've got a couple more clothing bits and then uh, a massive, massive bag of stuff that I bought in Hema because I have no self-control and it was all deeply, deeply discounted. And I think I'm set for skincare for ages, but I will show you my other little clothingy bits. Oh, I need to zip this up. Two seconds. So there's an Oxfam right around the corner from our Airbnb. And like, and normally I'm not a big fan of Oxfam. I feel like it's a bit like expensive. But this one was like super cheap. All the dresses were like 4 99 But then there was like the designer ones that were a bit more expensive. I don't know what brand this is. Also, it's really long, so you won't be able to see all of it. I'll just try it on. It's like this really like long, nice, like poofy sleeve dress. It's also no size in it, so I just had to eyeball it. It's how much I have to stick up the belt on with it. Just so it's a bit more like on the waist. But I thought this was gorgeous. And for 4 99 a bargain. I love that. And then this one. <sighs> Struggle to find which is the top and which is the bottom because there's a lot of material to it. So it's like a t-shirt dress. And there's a big poofy netting on it. And it looks really nice and whimsical while it's on. But uh, the lady in the shop didn't take off the security tag so I don't know what to do with that so we're thinking of taking it to uh we've got injury from permanent ink and glass will result if four staff oh dear so we're thinking of uh taking it to like another local ox farm and zinc and they take it off for us because we do have the tag because it, otherwise it's just going to be like a permanent fashion accessory for it but I thought that was really cute I don't know I just thought it was different and this one was $7.99 but it's more of like a brand so this one's still on the website this dress for like 60 quid so I thought that's not that bad I'll take a punt on that very cute and then I went to a second Oxfam I'm just carefully unwrapping Look at this little pair of earrings these teeny little hoops can we see the little hoops please yeah these little hoops with the moons on I thought they were well cute and they were 99p. They just look, they're the complete opposite of these gigantic earrings that I'm wearing today. But I thought they were really cute and they were a bargain for just 99p. So yeah, I just have my uh, giant bulky bag of stuff that I bought from Hema to go through. So buckle up, there's a lot of stuff. So in a similar jewellery vein, I got two pairs of earrings from Hema. These, I think they're like the, I think, do they call them like the huggy hoops? But they were cute. They were half price, so they were three quid. And these ones, some like big thick hoops with like fake opal in them. I thought they were cute as well. And they would have been two fifth because yeah, they're closing down in the UK. So like all the makeup was one pound, uh, the skincare was like 70% off and everything else was just 50% off or like if they just put a sticker on it for a quid, which sucks for them that they're closing down, but also a bargain for me because I have enough skincare to last me forever. So I'm just gonna be uh, grabbing stuff out of this bag because there's a lot of stuff. So first purchase, I think my mascot's this little dog. I think he's called Tacky and he's adorable. He was really nice and Fika hates him. I just thought he was cute. I had to buy him for two pounds. I felt sad otherwise. I didn't want to leave him there. Got some, this washi tape. Some washi tape, ooh. Ah, I can't open it. It's just like holographic, very cute. Hi Treacle. Bye Treacle. She likes to make herself known. Oh, this is so much stuff. Lil Perfume, what flavour is this? Vanilla and licorice, gorgeous. Wrinkle Filler, is this a serum or something? Wrinkle Filler, fantastic. A skin booster with uh, hyaluronic acid, you're supposed to like mix it into your moisturiser. Amazing, <laughs> I'm just lobbing all these on the floor as well, I'm like, ah. Oh. I already, like, I already know what I bought, but yeah, it's a mystery when I just go into the bag. 
Ooh, this belt. It's like a little kiddie's belt. This should have been eight pounds, but it was reduced to one, but it's got cats on it. But I thought it'd fit me because it's elasticated and it does fit me. Ooh, peach flavored lip gloss. Mattifying day cream. <laughs> oh, I like this like gel moisturizer. That's really good. I really, really like that. I've gone through a couple before. Ooh, make your own soap kit. I thought that might be a good present for someone. Stick it in the present thing and it was one pound. A little face mask and a tube thing. Another one. So I'm like, oh, I'll have one for me. And then one can go in the gift pile. Oh, he's thinking about the gift pile. Metallic eyeliner. Ooh. Ooh glitter. Eyeshadow. Oh no, face gloss. Amazing. Another perfume. Green apple and amber. Ooh, I do have one of their little perfumes and I keep it in my bag and it is really delicious. So, you know, I'm just speed running through all this because it's just a lot of moisturizers. Another wrinkle filler. I didn't realize I bought two. <laughs> my wrinkles are going to be so filled. A cleansing oil. This was about like £1.50. Amazing. Uh, eye cream, but it's like urban eye cream, even though where I live isn't very urban. Sheffield is just a village. Whoops. Another lip gloss. Watermelon flavour. These are really like ripping off the glossierbomb.coms as well. Another lip gloss. Bubblegum flavour. Another eyeliner. Silver. I've just bought so much tat. I love it. This was all, I got all of this stuff and it was like 50 quid after all the discount, which is mad considering there's a lot of skincare in here. Ooh, glittery eyeshadow in a tube. Another glittery eyeshadow in a tube. A nice serum. <laughs> um, ooh, another skin booster for detoxing your skin even though detoxing is not real another gel cream we've already seen that one but i like to stock up because it's a really nice moisturizer more lip gloss cherry flavor another lip gloss toffee flavor another eyeliner pink flavor Ooh, face gloss lovely this is the perfume that I have at the minute and I'm like nearly done with it and it's gorgeous. I love that so much. Ooh, a new mascara and it's like a little skinny one for your bottom lashes. Gorgeous. Yeah, I didn't buy makeup for so long and then home I had a one pound sale and I went absolutely ham. <laughs> Another moisturizer. This is like a mattifying one, which I think will be nice. And it says it's for selfie ready skin. So, you know, I'm always taking a selfie. I have so many moisturizers now as well. I just need to restock my thing i have like i've got like five new moisturizers but they were all deeply deeply discounted so it doesn't count it's all fine <laughs> another glittery eyeshadow Woo. another face gloss i bought two of them one as a gift for my friend and one for me another mascara a waterproof one gorgeous i like the packaging of this a lot another <laughs> lip gloss coconut flavor and another lip gloss peach flavor that one is also for my friend <sighs> last couple of bits now guys a glow moisturizer beautiful and then another glow moisturizer but this is a night cream Ooh. and <sighs> last one from hema a like oil cleansing stick the label's coming off this so it looks really weird but um it hasn't been used i've opened it it's all nice and fresh but yes lovely stuff and that's my hemma stuff done that is uh more skincare than i feasibly need but to be fair i do use a lot of skincare so i like nice serums i like nice moisturizers i want to be all perfect now i'm almost there i need to keep on top of it maybe that's why i bought two wrinkle fillers a few last last bits before i forget my partner bought me this really cute tote bag from Tiger. You know, they have the rainbow one. I'm like, oh, this one. Tiger really said trans rights. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> and she also bought me a Snork Maiden 
pin badge from the Moomin shop in Covent Garden because Moomin's are cute. I wanted the Little My one, but she said, I already have a Little My one. You can just use that one. So I don't want to get another Little My one. And this is neither here nor there. <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Uh, so we have a van shop here. Your van's the shoes. But I'm never going to go because it's a metal wall and I hate it. Like, I don't want to go to metal wall. But we walked past someone in Covent Garden and I was thinking, oh, I'll have, like, I've got some points to redeem. So I went and got myself a free Vans branded checkerboard actual pop socket for my phone. So lovely. A nice little free bet. Diminished all my points that I got from doing surveys and watching videos. But fantastic. It was the low, low price of free. And everyone in the shop was really nice and complimenting me. And it was my birthday. So I was having a wonderful time. So yes. That was a very, very lengthy haul. That's a lot of stuff, you know. You know, a lot of consumables though, so that's okay. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. I had a wonderful birthday and I'll be talking more about it in my next video. But for now, please just enjoy this luscious haul of all the things that were bought for me and that I bought for myself because I deserve treats because I'm a Leo. Bye guys. <laughs>